This is going to be my 2016 equipment slash trailer truck setup. Uh, I've downsized my business this year and this is the equipment that I have currently. Uh, in the garage I have, this is a steel 110, the combi system. It's got the articulating hedge trimmer. I've also had the, uh, the bed edging attachment and the chainsaw, the extended pole saw attachment. And then I have the extension laying right there. Uh, this is an old uh, FS250R. That is the beast of all weed eaters. Uh, that's my backup one. I have another one on the trailer. Uh, let's walk out to the trailer. Uh, this is a brand new 2016 uh, custom trailer I had custom made to my order. Uh, it's got the two foot dovetail and only a three foot gate. This is a 2009 Grasshopper 329 61 inch. It does have a 31 horse engine upgraded on it. Uh, when I replaced the engine at 1800 hours, I just put a bigger engine on it. Uh, I think it now has a little over 2700 hours. Uh, this is a 2014 Grasshopper uh, 325. 61 inch it has a Kubota 25 horse diesel in it uh, it's got a little over a thousand hours on it now uh, as far as trimmers on the trailer I have a brand new steel FS 94R I have a FS 250 and then I have an Echo I think it's a, a I think it's a 265 PE 265 edger. It's a straight shaft edger. I don't buy curved shaft edgers. They have too much vibration in them. I don't get much vibration out of them straight shafts. Uh, the racks I have, I bought these from Trinity Iron Images online. Uh, they were about half the price of the uh, big fancy expensive ones from Extreme down in Florida. I've used their racks before and I've broke several shafts on my weed eaters, so I just quit using them. Uh, I hadn't had any problems with these. The weed eaters do not move in here. They've got these little plastic grips on there. It just has one lock. Uh, I also bought this little spool rack from them. This has a little thing and I keep my, my uh, edger blades there on the rack too. I've got my K2 cooler set up here. I got, I got it blocked off. So it don't really go anywhere and it's tilted on the front that way the water drains out the back when i need to uh, i've got roundup or it's actually i think it's ranger pro in there and then i've got some surfactant in there i've got a older fs94 backup in the cage i've got the echo uh 770 backpack blower as a backup I've got the 15 gallon sprayer I've got the commercial Gravely 21 inch. It's been a decent mower. It's extremely heavy, but I don't do a whole lot of mowing. I only do about 30 minutes a week push mowing. Uh, I had this little toolbox added to the trailer when I built it. And I keep my uh, I keep an extra spool of string. I've got oil. I got sea foam, WD-40, paper towels. Just some basic stuff. I got some basic tools in here. In the back of my truck's a total disaster. Got a little bit of gas in there. And you saw my nice little gas can racks I have on the sides. I have another one on the other side of the trailer. I got diesel and mixed gas on this side. And that side I have gas and mixed gas on the other side. And I think my truck's locked. But inside that truck right there, you can see that's the brand new steel uh, 450 electric start backpack blower. That's my second one. My first one got stolen. So that's why it's in the back seat of the truck. Uh, somebody felt like they needed it more than I did. So uh, this is something else I like to do. I bought buy these little sheaths and then I keep the clippers right here. This stuff fits real good. It's got a little clip and it fits on the expanded metal. I keep that there to cut the string. 
So and then I've got a couple of the geek to freak trash cans on here. Uh, they're full of water. We've gotten like 12 inches of rain in the last week. That's why the trailer's parked today. We got like three inches this morning. Uh, so I always carry my cones and try and you know be as safe as I can on the road. Put the cones out. So that's my basic solo setup for this year. That's the truck. It's a 2012 Chevrolet 4x4, three-quarter ton gas. It's got the 6.0 Vortec. Uh, I used to have my website on the back of the truck. That's why the 4x4 stickers aren't there anymore. But I took all that off. I don't do much advertising anymore. Uh, I've got a pretty full schedule. Uh, so, but that's my rig that I'm working with this year. So thank you all for watching.